है गाइस वेलकम बैक टू ए डीजे टी थैंक यू फॉर स्टॉपिंग बाई फॉर अनदर वीडियो इन टूडेज वीडियो अगेन अनदर डील ऑफ एफ सी को आर साइड एंड इट्स अ बिग डील इट इज एलेक्जेंडर वमावियो जेसुराज एफ सी को आज राइट मिड फील्ड और यू कैन से विंगर एट द करेंट मोमेंट इज ज्वाइनिंग चेन्नई एन एफ सी एंड बाई द टाइम दिस वीडियो इज अपलोडेड आई थिंक द डील मस्ट हैव ऑलरेडी हैपन्ड सो आई एम सॉरी फॉर दैट डीले बट यू नो यू कैन डू ऑल दोज वीडियोज फास्ट so we'll talk all about uh, jesuraj uh, how he can benefit uh, chennai and his past history with uh, his other clubs that was fc goa mohun bagan and more so uh, if you are new to the channel and you all enjoy football content uh, you can check out our other videos and if you enjoy them do hit the subscribe button yesterday i covered ashdeep singh deal so uh, if you love to watch that video i would suggest you all go and check it out so uh, let's talk of course about uh, jesuraj so let's go through some of the basic things uh, that chennai fans and fc goa fans uh, can uh, know should know about him so uh, alexander jesuraj uh, was born is 25 years of age uh, he plays at a right midfielder he's at 1.73 uh, meters tall Uh, his contract with FC Goa ends this season, which is two thousand twenty-two May of thirty-first. So he's basically a free agent after the deal ends. I mean, after the season ends, and he's valued at twelve point five million, which is about one point two five crores. So a very valuable player, as you can see. But uh, the question here still will remain that uh, you know what is that called? Is he as good in the pitch as his value suggests? And that is his this season's uh, performance. Uh, so let us uh, check it out. So uh, this season, uh, this season, Jesuraj uh, has played uh, nine games and has scored two goals and uh, and has also got two yellow cards. Uh, of course, all this data is from transfer market, a very reliable source. Thirty-two uh, percent time, thirty-two uh, percent times he was in the starting eleven. Means out of all hundred percent matches that fc go have played 32% he was in the starting 11 uh, while he has played 26% of the total minutes available for him uh, so like if assume there was 900 minutes worth of football available he played only 26% of that i'm just saying okay it's not that he played only 900 minutes were available uh, his goal contribution has been 8% of fc goa's overall goal so if fc goa's total goals uh, is that 8% of the goals are come via him okay so on paper this season he looks like a very good player right and uh, these stats also uh, make it look very interesting about uh, his playing style so we'll check another stat which i'm interested and this is his basic pl uh, player data Uh, as you can see once again his contract ends in 2022 uh, which i have already said uh, as you can see in positioning he's just as a right midfielder so kind of you know the right midfielder right winger player uh, cannot mix much in other positions so uh, if chennai you want to like put him in the left wing or left mid he's going to have a tough time to adapt to that which will affect him maybe but uh, give him enough time to uh, train i think he will be able to do well uh, of course his market value of course has been the highest uh, last year of course and as we mean stagnant uh, at 12.5 million since he started playing in the afc champions league now for those who don't know uh, jisraj did play in the afc champions league i think he played about 5 games there so uh, that's a interesting stat for you all So another thing we'll talk about his former clubs. So uh, let's go to that. Uh, so for uh, as far as transfer market can say, they have no information before 2017 what clubs he did play for. But we can then see that he did join Chennai City, uh, from which he then uh, went to FC Goa on an unknown uh, amount of the unknown amount. The transfer is not known. The man money paid uh, in uh, 2019. Uh, after that, a loan deal to Mohun Bagan, and then finally back. to fc goa uh, so a very interesting thing to see here that he has played for good clubs and he has played of course he didn't just stay as a substitute for mohan bagan he did play some football there so uh, we let us talk about his stats by the club 
so uh, here as you can see stats by club uh, fc goa he has played 40 games uh, four goals and four assists are his contribution uh, with chennai in 38 games uh, almost same like amount of fc goas with three goals and three assists uh, with mohun bagan 11 games and just a goal to show now of course goals are not everything okay there's the passes the key passes uh, interceptions and all those stats but uh, considering he mostly plays as a right winger or right mid in FC Goa, uh, Chennai fans will definitely be interested in that stat. Of course, with Chante gone out, uh, I think uh, Chennai fans are presuming that Chesuraj will be his replacement. But I can confirmly tell you that Chante is a different level of a uh, player and Chesuraj will need a lot of time and a lot of uh, adaptation to the Chennai system and a new Chennai coach to even reach the level of Chante. I believe uh, this is a good deal uh, for uh, Chennai and FC. Uh, even FC Goa are not interested. I have spoken with a few FC Goa fans. They don't value Jesuaj that much. So it's not a big loss for FC Goa, but it's not even a big gain for Chennai. Maybe if he plays a proper football, uh, you know, something uh, plays well, uh, he may be loved more. So this deal is quite a good deal for Chennai NFC and I would say that if Chennai uh, do get this done, okay, by the time this video comes, I think the deal will be done. Uh, it's a very good deal. So congrats to Chennai if you all get it done. Uh, guys, thank you for watching this video. This was my analysis on Jesu Raj's deal to Ch from FC Goa to Chennai. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Do like, share, subscribe. See you all on more ATZ TV videos coming soon in the near future. Uh, goodbye, take care, stay safe.